What does it mean for a top player to say that they are bad at a rhythm game? It turns out the answer to the question, what does it mean to be bad, is not a simple one. I mean, the word is simple, we're already be solved at this point. So, and I'll show you here are some examples of players that are say that they are bad in response to something that they did. You know, most of the time they would be, this wouldn't be considered an accomplishment by them. May have invited some people to share their thoughts in terms of why they think that top players say that they are bad in rhythm games. I've gotten permission from them to share with me a clip of them describing what is going on with these top players. Usually, say when someone says that they're, they're bad or they're doing bad, it's usually how they feel they're doing compared to how they expect that they normally can play. Or like, if I say I'm bad at something, it's like obviously I'm good at this game, but like, in relation, like, in perspective to the kind of people I hang out around a lot of the time, or that a lot of the people I know in the community that are significantly better than me, it's like, yeah, I'm bad compared to them, but like, you know. Obviously in the grand scheme of things, I'm really good at this game, but I'm not, not nearly as good as the people that are levels above me, you know? Can someone else do something they have never done? Tip top players, or anyone that has, like, the drive to want to be that good, is going to have the mindset of, I am capable of doing this if I put enough work in, if I try hard enough, if I you know, learn enough, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's just them, I think it's just top players kind of expressing that they can do it, but they're not able to do it yet. And saying they're bad is basically just like, I'm frustrated because I cannot yet do this. Um, that's how I view it, at least. Well, I mean, a lot of people don't want to come off as conceited or anything. And honestly, if you think you're great, you'll never improve. A lot of those people go out to the point they're at because they keep uh, improving on things that they realize they're not so great at. Games will be like, damn it, I'm terrible. It's because... They, they know what they're capable of, so if they're not constantly hitting that top, like, their peak performance all the time, then I'm sure this is true with anything where you get kind of competitive. Maybe not even with other people, but with yourself. You, like, you slip too many times, and you're just like, fuck, I'm just bad. Like, right when I think I'm starting to get good, I'm just fucking up all the time. Like, I'm, I'm not that good. And it's like, well, compared to the average person, you're, seriously, like, you're one of the top players. Like, for a reason. And it's not because their ego is so big that it's just like, oh, they think that they're, like, the best ever. Because if they did, they wouldn't be self-aware like that. I had a chance to speak to some of these top players as far as what metrics they use to determine that they are bad. And I will play these on the screen for you to show and I determined from talking to these top players and analyzing my own way of operation and how casual people watch more than game players at the top level are as follows. My conclusion for the investigation of various top players and how people respond is that top players tend to have a much higher standard for themselves for their play than the normal person who plays in the games. According to a top player, if they see something or hit all the notes, then they feel that like it's a good thing. However, even if it's just a single note, they are by definition bad. Now, 
I said to you, my thing, why would a top player hold themselves to these kind of high standards? After all, they are top players after all. Well, it turns out the really the only way you'll be able to get better is if you say it at higher standards for yourself. Progress with whatever it is they want to do. You need to set goals that are higher than what you may consider. For a casual person that's looking at things. So for example, let's suppose that you have a 95% on a song of your choice. Now a casual person might say maybe I want to hit 96% or a higher 95%. A top player might say I want to FC this song at some point. Top players are constantly pushing themselves to be better at their game of choice since they enjoy it enough to want to be at the top of the first place. So, one example is of pushing yourself is finding something that is harder in order to get better at whatever skill is that you're good at. So, for example, they're looking for to improve their tapping skills, they'll look at something that challenges the way that they current tap things. Similarly, for strumming, you want to find something that's more difficult to strum, and so on and so on. Means that top players are always want to push themselves to whatever the limit is. Casual people watching may not necessarily want to do the push themselves, but enjoy when when some top player gets like some huge accomplishment like a Solus 4 FC or a Pro Keys FC. Let's go on and on. So, yeah. My overall conclusion as to why top players say that they are bad is that they are trying to get better at whatever game it is that they are playing. And this is constant. It's not. It is not like something that will be happen like once in a while, or anything. Top players will usually constantly say that they're bad in order to try to push themselves further up the ranks. And as a casual person. You need to understand that top players are pushing themselves in order to get better. Until the casual people watching understand that top players are trying to get better, there'll be this conflict in terms of a top player saying that they're bad and a casual person who is like, why are you... What are you talking about? Are you crazy or something? Oh well, yeah, that's my overall conclusion. Enjoy the video. Yeah. Yeah, leave a comment down below and what do you think of it? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.